This is the story of Roy O'Brien. He lives in an ordinary house on an ordinary street. The only trouble is, he doesn't look very ordinary. All Roy really wants is to fit in, but it's very hard to stay out of trouble when you're a cartoon. Roy! A new movie release has Roy and his friends intrigued. That's really cool. Yeah, it's supposed to be the scariest movie ever made. And my cousin's sister's boyfriend came out of the movie and his hair turned white. And they had to take him to the hospital in a coma. And now all he can eat is porridge. And now he can only talk. Boy, blinking! That's so stupid, Roy. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it'll be mad funny. You can forget about it, Roy. You're far too young for that. <laughs> You're yeah, right, Ma. I'm not scared of anything. Except your mummy. <laughs> I'm warning you now, Roy. You're not going to see that movie, love. All right, all right. <sighs> No problem. Thanks, Dad. You're a champ. Becky, well, well, you're a chimp. Roy. Come here. You all right for money? Well, not me. Here. That's for the game, right? Oh, thanks. I'm only looking to see if they have it. I don't think it's out yet, anyway. Can we just go? Car stinks of Roy. Roy. See you later, right? Right, lads, they've gone. Let's go to the movies. Right, split up and look old. Four for Google. Uh, no. Go on. Four tickets for Google, Club, please. Uh, no. Go on. Watch and learn, lads. Just watch and learn. Oh, excuse me, coming through. Watch, oh, excuse, excuse me. Thank you. Hey, is he there, yeah? Uh, yeah. Four for Gil Claw, thanks. Four? Is that your age, is it? <laughs> it's over 15s only. I'm 22. Where'd you go in with that? I know who you are. You're that cartoon fella that goes to school down to Ballyferma. I know you're only eight. Eight? I'm, an, uh, I'm 22. Looker. There's a film on about happy bears in screen too, if you want to watch that. No? <laughs> Next. We need a miracle. I think we just got one. See you later, Ray. Mwah. I'm definitely going up there, come on. Happy Bear in Toy Town or Ghoul Claw? Four for Ghoul Claw, please. Thanks. Thanks. Yes! 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 yes. yes. Get your own. Why bother? You've done all the hard work of buying them. Just upset it's not Sinead. Yeah, Roy, shut up, you idiot. Mm. All right, here we go. Bring it on. Ow! <laughs> oh, 
Roy. get blamed and grounded for everything. And you get away with murder. Come on, Bex, please don't tell Mom. No problems. Thanks, sis. Mm. But I still get all your pocket money for the next two weeks. What? Our man gets to hear about Roy's big day out at the movies. Oh, and you can hand over that 20 Dad gave you earlier, too. Oh, Bex, but I already spent half of it at the movies. Tough luck. Hand over the tenner and we can make it three weeks of your pocket money to make up the rest. Oh, I should never have gone and seen it. If Cathy tells everyone in the school I got scared, I'll be laughed at forever. Hello? I don't trust Becky either. If Ma finds out, I'll be in Dad, are you fixing something down there? What's going on? Oh, I was just messing. You're scared stiff. Roy, can you hear me, love? We need something to bring him around. Um, Biscuits. Biscuits, yeah. No. It's still not working. Chocolate. Becky, go downstairs and get that slice of chocolate cake. Now! Wait, wait, wait. That, that was for my lunch. Oh, Bill! Well, it's Walk. It was only messing, honestly. I was pretending to be the girl from the movie. What movie? Roy, can you hear me, love? Roy, wake up this minute. What happened? Chocolate, where can I have some? Roy, did you go to see that movie after I told you not to? Becky! Oh, I deal with you in the morning, Roy O'Brien. And you, Missy, out of bed now. Now! I want my money back. Get out. Get out of it. It's okay, son. Roy, it's just a dream. It's not real. Roy, shh. Roy, there's no such thing as ghouls or ghosts, love. Really? Yeah. Then it's okay. Yeah. Right. Good boy. Well, I'll leave the light on for you, Roy, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, yeah. It's just a dream, son, all right? Try and think of nice things when you go back to sleep this time. OK? OK. Right. Nice things, yeah. 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 Shay, shay. Hi. 
hair. Oh, I have no sympathy for your eye. I warned you not to see that movie, and now we're like zombies because of you screaming all night. I thought you said there was no such thing as zombies. Are there zombies, though? I didn't sleep a wink. It was probably the sound of a train running around in that train track in your big fat mouth all night, you squealer. School. Now, both yous. Girls and claws. Girls, get out of the woods. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Scaredy Pants, you should have seen him at Girl Claw. He was shaking like a leaf. They started screaming right in the middle of it. I'd be scared if I were you, Roy. Me? Oh, no, no. As if it was you who ran out of the movie. Yeah, she was screaming her head off. I wish I got it on video. She was priceless. Liars. He's pack of liars. Sure, that movie wasn't even scary. OK, class, sit down. Right, we're going to start with some spelling today. Here we go. Underneath, there was an old boat cloak, whitened with sea salt on many a harbour bar. My mother pulled it up with impatience, and there uh, lay before us the uh, uh, last things get him away. in the Shoot him chest. Him in the head. Ah, uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Roy O'Brien, king of the horror movie. See, I told you, now he was a liar. <laughs> I'll take the cards back here. Thank you, class. Thank you. Thank you. Boom. Oh, how embarrassing to be such a scaredy cat. Don't mind her, Roy. She's just a bully. I should just hide until I'm 100 years old. Relax. All you have to do is show Cathy up as a hypocrite. A hippo? What? We have to show everyone that Kathy isn't as tough as she makes out. And that she gets scared too. Cool. And um, how are we going to do that? Excellent, Tommy. Right, who's next? Kathy, you haven't been up here for a while. Good girl. Minus Here we go. This will be priceless. Look at her. She's eating it. She must have eaten it. Look. She's like the Terminator. Roy, give me some money. What for? Supplies. For tomorrow. Plan B. This better work tomorrow. People keep making chicken noises when they pass. Right. Good night, Royster. Do us a favour, will you? No more bad dreams. Your dad needs to sleep, okay, buddy? Okay, I hope so. Thanks. Good night. Let's up. Night. Night now, son. I think he'd be grand. This is stupid. I have to drive me taxi for eight hours and I'm half dead. What are you shouting at me for? I get less sleep than you. 
As soon as he stops screaming, you start snoring. You snoring out of me. Oh, listen, here's a line. I'd step right back over that if I were you, Bill. Oh. Shut up, the two of you. My room is closer to him. Oh, will you bring him to Dr. Rashid and see if you'll give him something to stop the nightmares, please? <sighs> Listen, Roy, straight here after school, we're going to Dr. Rashid's. How oh, cool. Right. Wait for my signal. Okay, here she comes. Roy. Was that supposed to scare me? <laughs> You're an even bigger choke than I thought. Any time I hear a bang or a scream or smell something foul in the school, I know it'll be you four buffoons at the heart of it. And who do I inevitably find controlling this disastrous quattro? Mr. O'Brien. But, sir. And when you've finished here, you can help Mr. Gwint with whatever it is that he does. Faster. I want to be able to see my face in that floor. That could be arranged. Don't worry, Ray. You wouldn't be the first young person to come and see me with nightmares after watching a scary movie. So you mean I'm, um, not a scaredy cat? Not at all. Sure, everyone's scared of something. I myself am not particularly fond of clowns. <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one. Stupid red-nosed freaks, what? <laughs> so what do you suggest, Doctor? Sleeping pills, yeah? Not at all. Sure. All Roy has to do is replace the horror images with something from a nice innocuous movie. Ma'am, what's an octopus movie? Shh, Roy. And you're sure that'll work? Because we got to get to sleep tonight or there'll be civil war in our place in the morning. I recommend Happy Bear in Toy Town. I brought my daughter to see it at the weekend. She's five years old. She absolutely loved it. Hasn't stopped singing the song. Happy bears are we, dum 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 diddy, <laughs> happy bears are we. <sighs> oh, Marge, I'm running again, it's all look. Who? How are you? Oh, how are you? Can I have two for happy bear and toy town, please? Yeah, no bother. There you go now. There Thanks. you are. Thanks, love. No problem. Here, do you not want your uh, complimentary happy bear and tie tail stickers? Ah, oh, Roy. Nah, you're all right. All right, so. See ya. Thanks. What's wrong with you? Next. Thank you. Oh, excuse. Excuse me, thanks. No. <sighs> can't believe I'm about to watch this. <laughs> seen that? I don't know what he sees in those awful movies. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow, Sinead, yeah? Yeah, see ya. See ya, Sinead. Thanks, Ma. 
No problem, pal. Just you let me get some sleep and we'll call it quits, yeah? Yeah. Come on, love. Any more sausages, Ma? Fair play to you, Roy. You'll turn into a sausage if you're not careful. But here, since you were so good last night, we're not screaming here. That was great. You said mm -hmm. it. How did you sleep, Bex? Like a log. <laughs> more like a dog. <laughs> right. I think I'll spend your morning today. Sorry, love. Sausages are a little bit burnt. L little, yeah. Careful now, Roy. That's your shadow there. Don't want you getting scared and screaming like a little girl. See you later, losers. Sorry, it's attracted to other things full of air. Don't mind her, Roy. She's as scared of things like the rest of us. Last year, she went absolutely mental. She thought there was a mouse in the girls' changing room. It turned out to be a sock. She was screaming her head off. Really? See you at Max. Oh! No way. No mice. Oh, they're gross. Don't worry. I have something much better than a mouse. Roy? Meet Missy. Ah, it's horrible getting away now. Oh, look at his yellow teeth. It's Mikey. Look at his claws, his toes, whatever you call them. And his tail and his whiskers. Oh, and his... she won't oh, fight. Go away. Roy. Roy. What happened? Oh, you freaked out when I tried to show you Missy and then... Uh... You ran into a wall. No! Get that thing out of my house! Now! Roy, wait! Whoa! Come on, it's the only thing that troll is scared of. I'll set her free, and when everyone freaks out, you come to the rescue. And what will I do when I catch her? Bring her outside and hide her in my locker. Everyone will stop calling you a scaredy cat. Simple. More of the tea? Whilst what, Ned? No need to shout, Bill. No. Did everyone sleep okay? <laughs> Sorry. The day of the rat has arrived. No way. Come on. No, I've been dreaming about rats. All night. They all hate me at home. Are you just going to let Cathy win? Everyone still thinks you're a coward. It's over now. She's already won. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, Roy. You're just pure class. The biggest coward in history. I don't know why you come to school. <laughs> why don't you just shut that big mouth of yours for a change, Cathy? You're boring everyone. Ooh. Look, Wikens, your little girlfriend is sticking up for you. How cute. <laughs> Don't mind her, Roy. <sighs> all right. Oh, all right. Let's get to work, Missy. You know, I still don't think I can do this, lads. Of course you can, Roy. Just squint your eyes and pretend it's a cute little white kitten. Okay, little white kitten, little white kitten. Okay. Okay. Let's do this.
due to a possible rat infestation, I've asked an exterminator to come here to deal with the problem. And so unfortunately, the school will be closed for two days. Yes! That was really brave of you, Roy. Thanks a million. I knew you saved me from the rat. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, any time. It was only a little small rat. The poor fella. He's more scared of us. Listen, I'm going to the cinema on Saturday. Wanna go along? Oh, yeah, sure. See you there. See ya. Yes! Oh, rats are deadly. She's so cool. Come on, check it out. She has a little bed that I made out of one of Becky's T-shirts and one of her favourite shoes. I have to return her to Jack tomorrow, but not before I take care of some business. With his courage now restored, Roy is about to improve his finances. Go for it, Missy. Where's my manners? Missy, meet Becky. Becky, meet Missy. Just get it away! No problem. But you do have to give me the tenner you took off me and six weeks pocket money. Fine. Just take it. Just go! That was a pleasure doing business with you, Becky. 